Hi everyone. Good morning to you. Welcome back to Science Online Class. In the last session, already we are discussed about the irrigation and what is the importance of irrigation and other points we are discussed. Today we are going to study about one more the new concept that is protection from weeds. Protection from weeds. What is protection? Means be uh, to be safe, keep safe. So here weed. Dear students, you may have experienced you visited when to a field along with the crop you may have seen some other plants also grown up along with the crop for example paddy or wheat you can take any example of plant or crop along with that some more plants are grown up on the field so are you intentionally grown up those plants also no they are called undesirable plants so extra they are growing extra but they are growing by naturally but they are extra so what do you call those undesirable plants these undesirable plants are called as weeds dear students the undesirable plants are called as weeds so along with the crop so whether these are useful or not so they are harmful to us not useful to us that is why we have to think about how to removal how to remove the weeds from a particular crop how to remove the weeds from a particular crop so the removal of weeds from a crop is called as weeding the removal of weeds from a crop is called as weeding. So, weeding is very, very necessary for a every farmer because, but why? Because the weeds are competent with the crop. The weeds are competent with the crops. How they are competent with the plants? So, they are competent with the for water, nutrients, along with also sunlight. They are competent with the plants, a particular crop or a plants for water, nutrients and also the light. And one more very important, my dear students, the weeds are affect the growth of plant or growth of the crop. It affects the growth of crop also. That is why we have to remove the weeds from the field and one more thing here the some weeds interfere in the harvesting also the some weeds are interfere even in the harvesting and they may present and they may present with the crop with the plant with the seed so they become poisonous for animals as well as human being that is why we must or every farmer must remove the weeds from the crop or the plant that is why some farmers adopted some many ways to remove the weeds and to control the growth of the weeds dear students the farmers are adopted some techniques, some methods to remove of weeds from the crop or the plants. What are those methods to adopt? Have to stop the killing the weeds or stop the growth of the weeds. The first method is the tilling. Tilling before the showing seeds. Tilling before the showing seeds. It helps to uprooting uprooting and killing the weeds. It's a best method to every form of to separate the or to remove the weeds from the soil. 
and the second thing the best time which is the best time to remove of weeds from the crop or from the plant the best time is uh, the plants produce the plants produce uh, before they produce uh, flowers and the seeds when they produce the flowers and the seeds before only we have to remove the weeds from the crop or the plants it's a best method to stop the growing as well as uh, controlling the weeds from the crop and this done by manually removing by includes physical removal or cutting the weeds completely to the ground to the ground means by hand picking or some other even the kurpi as well as the seed drill these two tools also very useful to remove the uprooting the weeds from the crops so kurpi as well as the seed drill also very useful tools in the agriculture to remove the weeds and finally weeds also stops killing and stop the growth of weeds by spraying the some chemicals that is called as water weed sites we call it as a weed sites weed sites is a chemicals they are kills the microbes weeds on the case of the rats okay and one of the weed site is 24d 24d it's a one name of the chemical so this is spray to a weeds or the plants the weeds gradually kill by themselves and this weed side is not harmful to the crops it's not effect to the crops or the plants but it's very careful one thing when the weed sites are spraying to the crops the farmer they should cover what are the nose and the mouth by cloth if not it affects on the health of the farmer so that is why every farmer should keep keep it in mind that while we spray the any weed sites any fertilizer they should close they must close their nose and the mouth by a cloth dear students one more important concept after the production from the seeds is harvesting what is harvesting harvesting is a very important step to every farmer when the crop is completely mature when the crop is completely mature or when the completely the crop is ripe one okay so here harvesting of a crop is important task to every farmer why because the cutting of crop after it is mature is called as a harvesting the cutting of crop after it is mature is called as a, the harvesting but in harvesting the crop is completely cut crop is completely pulled out or cut very close to the ground very close to the ground we have to cut the crop so after cutting or after pulled out what happens the harvesting in our country is mainly carried out either by or by manually with the help of the what a sickle sickle means it's a very important uh, tool you know we can use by hand pickle as well as done by a machine is called as harvester it is done by machine or by the directly the farmer can use the sickle and you to cut the crop in this method we are cut or pull out the crop in the form every form and uh, next thing in the harvested crop harvested crop the grain seeds need to be separated after cutting the crop still the seeds grain seeds are present in the case of crop only that is why the main concept is to remove the or to separate the seeds the grain seeds from the crop that is done by the threshing so threshing is carried out by a help of a machine is called as combine 
help of a machine is called as combine so in this way the harvesting process takes place in our day to day life remaining the continued concept you will learn in the higher classes how completely the harvesting takes place while you are going to higher classes you will study more and more concept about this harvesting and one more concept is that is stories this is the final task for every farmer what they produce here stories of produce is an important task for every farmer in their daily life right so what is the story is if the harvested crop is or if the grains are to be kept for a longer time if we keep say the seed or the grains for a longer time compulsorily they should be they should be safe from the moisture and also insects rat and also some organisms if you want to keep for a longer time we must and should take care of that here insects moisture rats and uh, micro organisms and uh, maybe one thing harvested crop is is more or uh, the other crop have more moisture much of is uh, the water content more water content is there in the seed or the grain that's why the freshly harvested grain should be dry completely make dry if you or without drying if you keep say if you preserve if you store is such grains they may spoil it they may spoil it or attacked by some organism we must and should the dry the dry up the all the grains what we produce if not they may spoil it or attacked by the some organisms and the organisms making them unfit for use or unfit for further germination okay that's why we must and should keep store so before storing the grain seeds dried in the sunlight or dried in the sun to reduce the moisture and also <coughs> away from the keep away from the organisms like insects organisms and rats also in this way we have to keep or take care of storage of the grain seeds in the field and it is useful for every farm